Hi, hello, welcome back to my channel Tutor Things. Today in this video, we are going to see Angular forms, the two uh, template driven forms. So in Angular, we have two types of forms. One is Angular or template driven forms and the other one is the reactive forms. So in this video, we are going to see TDF. So that is the template driven forms. So how to create those forms and uh, what are the things we have to remember while creating the template driven forms we are going to discuss with the practical example. So you already know like I have started Angular tutorials uh, till now we have done so many parts uh, before to this video. So if you have watched all those videos then that is fine. If you haven't watched those videos please go to my channel and playlist you will, where you will find Angular tutorials for beginners. There you have a list of Angular uh, concepts you can go through all every video so that you will get a clear clarity and everything will be clear for you in the Angular. So let's say template driven forms as you already know i have shown you all the examples with the use of this online platform which is a stagbase which is a uh, very good environment where we can create any js environment within milliseconds just by clicking here this angular your angular application will be created so there is no time like timeless uh, application will be created like no time for uh, or uh, installing any packages or dependencies likewise if you are at local machine that will take so much of time to create your first angular project right so all these things uh, here with this online website you no need to wait such a long time likewise this is the uh, default uh, environment which is having app component as a default one uh, with the app module you know so to know more about components, modules, and uh, what are the files which are present in Angular, I have everything explained in detail in the in the video. You can check the check all the playlists so that you will understand, right? So sorry, I'm just removing the boiler uh, code which we have already came here. We no need of the those kind of things, so I'm just removing those things like all the things. So now it is fine, right? So nothing is there in the app component and nothing is there in the app TS file. What I want to do is uh, uh, Angular template, or oh, like I want to create one sample Angular uh, uh, template driven uh, form so that you you can understand uh, what is what how we can create like this first i want to create a one pdf form pdf in angular that is a template driven form in angular so let's see that in how we have to create i'm just taking one basic form uh, here which is a normal html form which you already know right so i'm taking one form tag and with the table tag just to make it uh, organized i have taken table tab table tag without that also you can do just to make it organized i have taken table tag and next a tr tags where it is a table rows and uh, for labels labels are there and for uh, uh, td one more td for input field likewise i have taken a type of input just some id and stylings i have given so no need of that just by giving input type is equal to text is enough to get that uh, field there in the html like you can see name i have given passport field i have given an email label and the input field and for gender i have taken radio buttons with having same name gender for both and uh, the value is male here and female here labels are female male and female okay fine right lastly i have taken one register button which is of type submit input and just i have given some alignment and column space like this so this is fine right so normal html form only there is no 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 such a kind of heavy kind of things to remember like normal html form how you create in html i have written here so you can see output here so let's see the definition of uh, uh, template driven forms first of all to understand better so these are the forms where we can write the logic some logic you can write and also validations you can write and controls uh, you can define like that in the template part of the html code so whatever you want to do the changes to make it as an angular form that can be done in the template level itself you are no need to do anything in the model level just the changes in the template like uh, to make it as a ng model like uh, it, to make the template normal html template into an angular template like how we are changing so that thing everything will be modified in the template level itself so it is called as a template driven form in angular like 
no uh, so see this it is this template is responsible for first setting up the form validation control and group so all this template is responsible for all the validations part all the things which are related to forms okay so this is called as a template driven forms let's see with an example like how we can create or implement and what uh, how we can uh, get the values from the form like how we can all, all also print it in the template itself let's see all these things with an example so uh, you have angular reactive forms also after template driven forms these are called as a model driven approach to handle inputs uh, those values are changing over time like this is a model driven no need to uh, no need to take responsible of everything in the template itself this is a model driven forms we call it as because here we have to create or update a simple form control using multiple controls in a group validate form values and implement more advanced groups so most of the people go for reactive forms to do much with the, the, the forms like it will be more advanced forms we call it as so this is a model driven whatever the uh, things we have to do validation everything we have to do in a model level so this is a model level driven forms now we are going to see is a template driven model forms so everything we have to done at the template level itself so i'm not going through validations and all the things i'm just show, uh, in this video i will show you the basic uh, template driven form how we have to implement this is the now we have a uh, template driven form like normal html form is there like how to make it as an angular form we are going to see so to make it as an angular form uh, some few things we have to add for this form the first thing we have to add is here we have to um, tell that add one variable what i have called as a template reference variable as you can see my video in the youtube i have told you like template uh one part 15th video where we have a template driven variable how to use that i have told you in this video just watch this video to understand template reference variable and also so many videos are there in my playlist just go through all those things so that you will definitely understand angular much better so this see first i want to give one template reference variable for this form so what the uh, thing i want to give is basic form i am giving just this uh, uh, just as a, a template reference variable for this form this form template i have given some variable for this form template after that what i am telling is i want to tell that is a angular form like ng form i am just telling that this is a ng type of form like that next next one more thing what you have to do is we have to uh, write call even method to submit like whenever we submit this thing you can make it as a normal submit or ng sub submit let it be ng submit first of all so ng submit is the event like if you are submitting the form like how we write click function like that ng submit so on the submit what i want to do is i want to call one function so what i can name it as a function as called get user data i have written one method called as get user data so to to get to um, balance that error what we have to do it we have to add that method in the ts file also okay so now let's see uh, after adding that method what i want to do is i want to pass the data of this form so basic form by the template difference variable we can uh, like transfer data right so from this thing i want to pass it to this model so basic form i want to pass to this method and uh, you can see that this thing is enough like sub on submit i want to pass so let's see uh, how uh, this works like it is expect expecting one uh, argument right so here also you have to pass that data which is of what type ng form type right ng form type this is a type script where we have to define the types of that uh, variables also it's better to go with like that so in this method what i want to do is i want i can uh, like i can print that in the console like console log of and data whatever data coming into this method i want to display that in the console level only so in this uh Stabbridge website here you will have a console also so here you can see the outputs which are coming into console okay so everything is fine right no errors like what i have did so ng basic form ng form first i have taken template difference problem i'm telling that this is a ng form and next time submit i want to call this method with this form variable okay so now how to make these input fields as a angular template reference like it, these are the templates of angular templates like ng templates how to make this means we have to add ng model so this property you have to add after adding this property only it will consider this as a ng template or it's a 
uh, angular kind of template it's not a normal html template so ng model we have to add in all the fields like ng model for name and password and what we have uh, gender sorry email and next gender gender we have two radio buttons like every both are inputs only everywhere you have to add so next um what we have nothing is there so i have added ng model for all the fields so now it is fine right so everything is done so first is a template reference variable we have done and next on ng submit what we have to do and just to make all the templates as in uh, ng templates we have added ng model and next i have added ts model uh, method here which is passing ng form data and next i'm displaying it in the console this up to this uh, i think everyone is clear let's see this with the example here i'm just giving the inputs i'm just entering uh, some values into the form I have given I'm just clicking on register just observe here you can see in console you are getting like ng form you can observe right ng form is getting so ng form is getting but how to get the values we are getting from this form so to make that whatever data here coming is not of ng type which is of any if you give as any and one more thing which you have to do is here uh, you are getting this form right so instead of form entire form what you want to send is the value of the form like values in that form you can pass so now I just try this just two things i have deferred one is the data which are passing for this model is not of ng form type it is of any type that's the values and yeah here with dot value i have added just the two things i have added let's see the output now how, how we are getting in the console same we are logging here also the data itself so register when i click on register you can see i am getting the values of these forms like email gender name and password like this so this up to this is clear right here not only in this submit you can also give a normal submit also that will work i will just show you the things here see register you are getting the output so submit uh, same thing here values are getting here so one more uh, thing i want to show is not only submit here form or uh, like whenever you click on register button which is uh, in the form included in the form here right when you submit this value register submit you are getting submitted data whatever you can do is you can add this button like whatever the submit button which is present if you add that in the outside also for example i'm taking button of type button which is called as a i'm just adding that as a submit button which is an outside of the form okay i have added submit button which is outside of the form and for the button what we have a function like click function is there like whenever you click and this will happen like uh, it's giving an unexpected error why so button i have been closed it so now fine so let's see on click what will happen uh, we are calling this method and the same uh, this form values i am passing so like this also can pass like uh, template reference variable we have seen example in that video like if it is of any template you can pass it to the other template also that value here comes into this on clicking this submit button also which is outside of the form the submit button let's see this with an example let's try this uh, output see here not i am not clicking in the register i am just clicking on submit you can see the values which are getting is also displayed in the console so now it is fine right in the inside or if it is on a submit button is in the inside of form it will be fine in the outside of the form it will be fine because we are using template reference variable which where we can transfer our data from one template to other template also so value is also fine or if you give form also it will be fine while displaying you have to give, give like dot value then that it will be fine so one more thing which i want to show you is uh, i want to get the submitted data like uh, whatever i have submitted i want to display that uh, submitted information here like to uh, we are getting a fr um, sorry submitted like see i'm getting data in the ts file typescript file or uh, if you want to send again back to the html how we have to do i will show you that part also so for that purpose what we can have to do is we have to first define one typescript variable that is i have taken the like user data one type of variable which is of any type which is of a uh, uh, form or like normal array type 
so in that what i want to do is uh, i want to just add this data whatever coming here which are, i am uh, displaying here in the console i want to add that data for this into this variable so uh, so that i can use that variable in the html file like uh, submitted information i just want to add a breakpoint so that you will get next to that so um, what i want to do is i want to just print here like i want to use string interpolation and variable name so just giving the name of that if the value is in there if the, the value is present there you can see that otherwise it will be null value right so i'm just adding name and whatever the fields we have like password and uh, what i have email and last one is a gender we have this four right so i have uh, added those submitted forms here we can also add like text like name yeah just password just email this is the user data which are submitting to the form coming to ts file and next from the ts file i'm again rendering it into the html file itself let's see this with an example so that you will understand here just see i have to give a breakpoint so that it will become line by line otherwise it will be uh, in the same line see here you can see name password and email submitted information we are getting here so you can submit either with the register which is in the form button or outside button submit also you can submit like this so what you are doing here is uh, you can displaying in the console and also uh, adding it to the one more ts property and next time uh, fetching that property here so what we are expected output whatever the data we are giving here that should come in the console first and after that here also we have to see that data so in the name field of password and let's see this within uh, by executing that part so password also i have given and email also i am giving the same things every time so i'm just submitting here with the outside button you can see the values here we are getting raj and Jimmy, whatever i submitted i am getting here and also in the console so after console we are getting that here so this is all about uh, template driven forms it's a very simple uh, form like which in angular we can implement another one is also like uh, reactive forms which is a quite uh, complex when compared to this but most of the people use uh, reactive forms only because it having more uh, advanced forms features like this so in this video um, till now i have explained all about our template driven forms i think everyone is clear with this concept if you have any doubts regarding to this you can feel free to comment the comment section we definitely reply to your comments and if you have any suggestions for your, our videos you can feel free to comment the comment section we will definitely take your comments and improve our standard of giving and uh, if you have missed any part in angular you can feel free to comment so that we will cover up those concept also so not only angular in our playlist we have done html sql uh, w3 schools concepts also jquery and all this check out those all those videos and subscribe to my channel while subscribing you have to click the bell icon so that you will get notified each time when we upload a new video and share this videos to your friends who are at learning stage of angular concept and web developing concepts that will definitely help them at very great extent so that's all for this video thanks for watching bye bye